Morning wood. Morning wood. That's a chilly morning wood. Ooh, it's, it's like, you know, it's morning woodless. Ooh, but the coffee tastes good out of it. Uh -huh. mm. yeah, I'm a bit underdressed, I think. You know, living by the beach, you're not going to have really hot days. But I guess it's okay. Well, we probably will next month. Next Wednesday. <laughs> oh, it's supposed to be 84 here. I mean, well, we don't know if it'll be here anymore. Yeah. Oh, well, oh, I here. see. Here, here. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they always Our weather, the weather could be different than rest of the Downtown, I guess. It's a good point. It is a good point. So we'll, um, but it'll still be nice. Come on down. You'll have a good time. I'm totally fine with that. Totally fine with that. And it's June. It's June blue. Totally June blue. And, uh, you know, it's Saturday. So, We've got a full work day out of us. Any songs uh, make you nostalgic or bands? There's got to be like bands you listen to when you were. I have to say, the only heart makes me nostalgic because that was like my band for a period of time. Like heart made me college. hard. Yeah? Oh, I bet you. Yeah, that original. I know which one. I don't know if it was the first album, but it was the one that I think was just called Heart. Yeah. Where they're dressed in that Renaissance. The two of them on the cover. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cover, the two of them looking just smoking hot on me. I mean, that was like yeah. great. And they could rock. Oh. Uh, they were super, super hot, hard, heavy. Well, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Later years, sorry, Ann, but uh, uh, Nancy was my fave. Was, yeah, Ann was my fave. Went for the, uh, I always went for the underdog in the group, you know. The, <laughs> The thin. It was like George Harrison and the Beatles. The uh, no, 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 well, no, that one. Beautiful underdog. Yeah, George yeah. was kind of thin and petite too. No, no, I mean in in bands, I never was going for the front. I was always, I'd always find that that band member that was uh, a little bit more on the side. My, my yeah. nostalgic. The reason why I brought it was Sweet. You remember the band Sweet? Yes. Yes. Oh my gosh, they just epitomized my pubescent youth. Oh yeah, just that you know it was one of the first albums I bought. And These songs you could fuck to. I, well, maybe, but I, <laughs> I didn't back then when I was pubescent or even post pubescent. <laughs> but no, uh, Steve Priest, who was the bass player for Sweet Guy. Oh, so you know I started googling all those old Our songs. Our to his family. And they were on like one of those British uh, uh, Dick Clark type Saturday afternoon. Oh, uh, were they like British Invasion kind of? Oh, yeah, they yeah, started yeah. off, and actually, I didn't realize that they were, uh, they spearheaded one of the bubblegum movements. Oh, know? really? So they kind of followed up with the Archies and that whole group, and then they turned a little bit more harder. If you want to call it that. But, you know, Fox on the Run and uh, Ballroom Blitz. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, they, and Little Willie was, was their best song in the United States. I had no idea. Little Lily, oh yeah, little, go, go home. home. Yeah. And it's it's great. Back then you were thinking, oh, some guy named Willie. Well, Little Willie is a euphemism for Dick, for a Dick. But I didn't realize there's this Dick actually refers to my cock. Your cock? Particular? Yeah. A little Willie. The urban slang says yeah. a little Willie is John's cock. Small, flaccid, large, erect. And yeah. Just how did you fuck? I can't edit this. <laughs> That's fucking bullshit. Sorry, it was a mistake. But you make that way too many times. I don't think I've ever done that before. On air? Uh, well, it's well it's yeah, on our over, podcast. Over, th is it over three years edit? time. I'm sorry, there is a, a no... What do they call that? Which Tell your right? brother I'm sorry I used his name in vain. <laughs> is that a good cover-up? <laughs> God, and you did it just at the wrong time. Just as I'm explaining what Little, what little Willie is all about. Yeah, there's never a, right, a wrong time to interrupt. Well, this is the, this is the episode we're going to figure out how to edit. <laughs> Good luck with that. <laughs> You're probably, you know, you can probably be found it. I, I tried to, but I don't know how to edit. Sorry. That's why it is what it is. A little willy is small. I mean, it's, it's yeah, small, flaccid, large, erect. So, small. Okay. So where so does Willie fit in? The differential. Oh, it's just the name they give it. It's okay. The, it's but I. But I. So I. So you're talking about the different states, different sizes, or the different states. No, Little Willie refers to a man. 
Yeah. That has a small flaccid cock oh. that gets uh, and that is a large erection. Oh, oh, so I so see. It's the idea of the difference. Oh, that's what he's like. That's what he said. I got you. And apparently, they're like unicorns of the, of the they're like male unicorns. According to this urban dictionary yes. definition, they are highly sought after by females because they're it's kind of a rarity. You're going to change your Tinder profile? I know. I'm going to put my, my nickname is Little Willie. I didn't know that. Now, I have no idea if Sweet was singing about me during that song. But know that you. Remember know when that there was, I was that. Listening Brief period me. where they were they were thinking about merging with cream and calling it sweet cream. Mm. Yeah. And with that, <laughs> with that, with that, Bob, <laughs> signing off. Now I just blew your cover. Yeah, really. Morning wood. Morning wood. More coffee for me. Bye.